Okay. Uh, greetings, salam alaikum, and <clears throat> basically, uh, uh, Leo, I just want to share with you a little bit of a paradigm shift, how the change of the mindset ambayo nilipata baada ya kuwa introduce uh, kwenye industry ya direct selling au network marketing uh, at the first place. So, <clears throat> kama tunavyojua wote tuna mitizamo tofauti tofauti katika maisha na tuna background tofauti tofauti pia. Kwa mimi background yangu ilikuwa katika insurance na na I'm an insurer by professional na nilikuwa nikirun activities za insurance and logistics. Kwa uh, my, 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 my I, I managed kuweza ku develop my own entity au my own organization uh, au office or company together with my brother tulikuwa partnership ambayo ilikuwa ki deal na insurance uh, as a brokerage na pamoja as a brokerage pia kwenye mambo ya logistics. Kwa so basically uh, I spent <coughs> almost like uh, 5 to 6 years of my life katika hii field na ni field ambayo niliamini juu yake, ni field ambayo niliona potential yake, ni industry ambayo nilipenda hata engagement yake pamoja na watu na uh, room iliyokuwa ikitoa. Na, na of course nilikuwa katika industry kwa sababu ya only one, an ultimate goal ultimate ya kutengeneza a good financial stability uh, kwangu mimi ambayo itaweza kunisaidia mimi uh, jamii yangu itaweza kusaidia familia yangu na kadhalika na basically uh, sikuwa na na, na uh, bigger perspective ya ku achieve big things in life kwa sababu kwangu my only priority ilikuwa is just to grow my company together with my brother and just to make money ambazo itakuwa enough for me and my brother and my family that's it na sikuwa na, na mtizamo kwamba au be able kuweza ku uh, ku touch the mankind how to empower the mankind sikuwa na hiyo hiyo perspective lakini back of my mind nilikuwa nikiwa very disturbed na kitu kimoja kwamba marafiki zangu wa karibu au jamaa zangu wa karibu au watu ambao uh, tulikuwa tukishare different moments pamoja kwenye maisha either nilikuwa nao katika university either nitoka nao katika educational background au katika uh, childhood na kadhalika nilikuwa nikiangalia mimi naweza kuona kuna hope mbele yangu lakini kwa sioni hope kwao na nilikuwa nikiona wote wako stressed wako frustrated wako depressed na wakiwa na, na curiosity ya kuweza pia kubadilisha maisha yao na kuweza ku develop so kwangu uh, my company ilikuwa sio that big company au a big business ambayo na uwezo wa ku like 500 people Nikuwa ni just two, 10 to 15 people. Na ikuwa position says za watu wengine, I have long term contract wengine, short term contract wengine, I don't have contact with them. Na nikuwa na jangalia, how will I empower my friends? Na kuweza kuwapa opportunity ambayo iteza kuwa saidia. O hiki ni kitu kwa kikini disturb, lakini nikuwa sijui what is the way forward. Na it happens, uh, um, wakati nikawa invited kwenye network marketing business. Na nipo kuwa invited, uh, with my friend na mtu ambaye alikuwa akifanya kazi uh, into my company together tukiwa tunafanya naye kazi kwa pamoja tumepitia naye vitu vingi pamoja na akiwa of course uh, uh, amesimama katika a very sensitive department katika ukuaji wa, wa biashara au ukuaji wa taasisi yote na department aliyokuepo ni financial department na huyu ni mtu ambaye tumesoma pamoja from secondary tumesikuwa pamoja university tumekuwa pamoja in daily routines na tulikuwa na the same mentality and our mentality ilikuwa like, okay, let's just start hard, graduate, get good marks, and we'll just somehow, uh, yeah, yeah, ilikuwa a banker by professional, so you go to bank, and you'll be a banker, you practice your field of expertise, and somehow we'll make it in life. And to kiwa na like a mentality like some days, we'll just uh, uh, achieve some certain goals. How? Tulikuwa to you. So basically, uh, he was a very dedicated person. Now, uh, I started to notice some changes in him. And one thing I noticed in him, surely, Niliona, the mindset yake, it has changed. He may change in what perspective? I may change mindset in terms of kwamba. He was able to understand his position in life, to understand his purpose in life. Now, he realized kwamba, what is uh, a goal yake nini, priority yake nini kwenye maisha. And I saw him changing. I saw him changing his routine of life. Kwamba, me and him, we used to hang out, go to club and party, arrange events, uh, and go and celebrate events. Now, to look what, like, we don't even know how to manage time. 
na 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 like uh, na the question we used to ask ourselves is like what is it cc we have 24 hours also the people are successful have 24 hours but what is it missing in us lakini we never realize gomba the only thing was missing is how we spent our 24 hours now we spend with who uh, we spend doing what we spend by prioritizing kitu gani kwenye maisha yetu etc so this uh, uh, brother of mine and a friend of mine and uh, of course majority of you guys you know mr bilal he came across na nikaona some changes on how he an, an, an a plan his day so he used to tell me he's making a plan of the day in advance i used to so kumona me change the dress code i me change the, the 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 how he's involving with his family his relationship with people communication skills and i was like man the level of confidence of him it may call like extraordinary and for me I, i was in a, i was owning the company yeah he was not owning the company he was actually working on my company uh, lakini the, the the mindset yake was different so, so he, he started influencing me in a positive way utawa kujua and to be curious like amekutana na nini what is it ambacho kimeweza kumfanya aweze kuwa na these changes and kwangu mimi baada ya ku notice all these changes even the time when he presented i was really negative about network marketing for some first why i was negative i was lacking information about this industry of network marketing sikuwa najua the potential of the industry sikuwa najua kama even this is an industry sikuwa najua like uh, it's a place people just uh, want end up waste their life and just making some sales now they are trying to make some sales and to sustain the life so if maybe they are lucky they will become successful if they are not they will become successful but i never realize it's also a business now it's a business ambayo iko uh, uh, officially uh, and a business which really imesaidia so many people and uplift many lives now this is an only industry ambayo imeweza kuwa na good earn turnover apart from its turnover is also an industry ambayo imeweza kuondoa a lot of unemployment in a government so because even today what we are looking what are the options za kuondoa unemployment in our societies in our communities Of course network marketing is one of the of the industry ambao it has imp- it may, it may empower many people and it has give hope to many lives and it has changed many lives because about like today the world is changing the the way of doing business they are changing and also the employment concept is phasing out day in day out now why is phasing out because sababu kuna uh, uh, technology so due to technology due to the changes of the world and eventually also the employment is changing is not in a quite replaceable with devices if we are looking around in our way in our life uh, na jinsi we are living in today world there are a lot of devices zinakuja and these devices they are replacing human being now the devices they have become more friendly user now they have become more efficient and also we have many applications they are coming up we are using many applications about they are replacing uh, human beings so all this is the technology they have to impress and we cannot stop the technology so for me i also realize so things are changing and way of doing business they are changing and when i look up to to this industry of network marketing nikaona there are bigger potential in this industry first i realize in this industry of network marketing kwamba my business i won't just build my business in a local market only i can in industry of network marketing na nipa a wide range ya kuweza ku develop my business in my local country or my local area or my local market then also i can expand it globally so for me with what i was doing before i could also grow and people there are some people have grown now they are building it international but it will take a lot of years a lot of effort a lot of dedication a lot of commitment and a lot of of course finance as well to back up the business to support the business and when i, I calculated and check up uh, the risk compared the risk in the network marketing industry and what i was doing before i realized the risk on the that traditional business i was doing the risk was really high na 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 every day i was risking i was risking many things first i need to invest in technology and it requires millions of money also there are chances even if i invest the chances kwa kwa mimi kuweza ku progress or to grow is also minimum because also the competition is is heavy in the industry i'm not alone in the industry and i realize in this industry of network marketing the already the company I've already built a platform. A company has built a correct platform where I can promote the company product and co- promote the company uh, 
services which they're offering. And through it, I can build my business or I can build my network internationally. And for me, it was a bigger change in my mind. And to understand this potential, I understand I don't have to go through the headache of understanding when the product will expire, to understand when I need to introduce the new product in the market, to understand the calculations on how I have to pay all these things, to find the balance in the company, to, uh, to get, understand where I can get the more funds to spark up this, uh, the company and etc. Because in a local business, a lot of businessmen and women, they are actually uh, uh, incurring a lot of loans to run the businesses and they are running with their own mindset because you cannot depend on the employees to run that company of you. Employees, they don't have the same insurable interest with your business. They are just there to work for you. So it means you are paying them. It means you have to give them direction and etc. And they won't even be initiative or uh, come with ideas. And of course, they'll be thinking on how to steal on you and, and to develop their own life. So I realize here, I'm building partnership with different people, with the different skills and the background of OT. Also, I understood the wide range here in, the, in this industry of network marketing. Wamba, this is the only industry that does not require a, 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 like a CV. You know, when you go and apply for a job, they will ask you your background, your CV, your experience, and etc. I realize also, due to this, that's why in many industries, it in a limit the growth of many organizations and people to achieve massive results out of it. But in this industry, gives the room, gives the opportunity for me to work with anyone and everybody. And it means uh, people are there. People are looking for opportunities. People are looking for ways on how they can improve their life. And people, some of people, wanna are limited because well, maybe I want a good background of education, a good background of uh, family, and etc. Now, who are judged while they have good skills and potential. They are not judged by who they are. They are judged by their professional, by their mark. Marks they have scored in school and etc. They are judged with their certification. So this is the only industry which is not giving me that room to judge people with, their, with, their, with what they have been scored in their school, uh, uh, I mean, career and etc. So gives the good range. And today I've been able to build with my business with all these kind of people. What Now I'm able to contribute to, I'm able to add more value and I realize. So I'm grateful to the person who invited me a lot. And I'm grateful Kwamba. He was willing and ready to embrace the changes. Now uh, those changes, they were to attract, na kuni motivate could inspire and to give me the platform today to belong into this industry. And I'm happy, proudly. And this industry has done tremendous things, you know, changes in my life. And I realize also in this industry gives the room to have the personal enhancement, personal growth. In other industries, you don't get people to guide you, people to, to direct you. I've been in the business before coming in network marketing. No one was there to give me an idea. No one was there to guide me. No one was there to hold my hand. Even not even if you are very lucky, maybe some few members in your family will back up you. But I went through many challenges. People they were jealous. People they were trying also to, to, to come with the suggestions not to help me to grow, but to see uh, na, na fall down. So ni waise could take over or to laugh at me. But in this industry, I have genuine people. And people about they also they understand Gwamba. If they advise me correctly and they get the growth in the business. Also, they will acquire the growth in their businesses. So they are not just focusing uh, 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 only my income. Of course, they focus on all aspects, but they are becoming like coach. They're becoming like teachers. They're becoming like my mentors. And these are people about not paying them. And we are sharing every moment together. And they guide me on how to build the business. In any other business today, you have the fund, you have the capital, and you want to establish the business. It's not the capital which will guarantee the business of you to grow. It's people behind you, people who will be there guiding you, supporting you, giving you advices and etc. on how to grow that business. But even if you want to go and open real estate or a restaurant or to I mean, a tourism company or traveling agents and etc., no one will come there to give you the ABCD, to give you the directions and to hold you the hand. Even your best friends, they won't give you directions because they are not sharing the same vision with you. Those people will be there as friends in your life, but you'll just be the one to execute everything by yourself, to do everything by yourself. 
Then I realized when I was presented in this network marketing, it's a business which is built by teamwork. It's not the business which is about me, money, or build. Of course, it's my business. I own the business. I own my tracking center. I'm, I'm accountable for it. But also, I have people like my business partners together with me who will mentor me, who will guide me, who will show me the way. And this mentoring is not just for them. They just want like a kuningilia kwenye maisha and my privacy. No. It's for them. They are standing as a coach. You know, like today, the best, if you look around her, Kwenye Maisha, uh, who are the best footballers? All these best, best footballers, they won't become the best because only of their uh, talent or potential skills. It's also because they had good coach behind them. And both were uh, holding them, guiding them around the way, showing them how to improve, how this uh, Gana Vitu in a different way, how to become better version of themselves. And that's why today they've become the best. Even the best actors, they are the ones who have submitted themselves to uh, people who can guide them and etc. So when I nilipoangalia I sikuona people ambao will have that interest ambao will have that uh, ability to coach me for free and then that's why I decided and I saw I encountered the potential in this industry of network marketing and they can get it for free and today the mentorship ambao nime acquire and the person I've become is unbelievable because these people are not just focus on me, making me kwamba uh, to income, but they are focused on making sure they are building me become a better human being, become a better brother, become a better uh, a, a friend in many aspects also, and become a better entrepreneur and to acquire all these things. So this is the, the that's why today anyone talks about uh, Yonge now, you always talk to them and I recommend them the network marketing because they will acquire many things. So before you become successful, you need to change who you are. Because the success, I was with the same level of thinking, same level of mindset, same level of attitude, same level of doing things in life. They all, you have to kill your, the old you, now who are ready to be reborn again so you can achieve the results. And this industry of network marketing gives you that room. And everybody who has achieved their success in this industry, they have changed tremendously. They have changed a lot in terms of personal enhancement, in terms of how they think in terms of people they engage themselves with them and etc because they realize by them keep staying the same person they won't change years and years that's why i always say like okay there are people are living seven i mean living the same year for 75 years and they are calling it life and they're not realizing they are living the same life with the same community same level of thinking same way of doing things same way of operating and they expect different results cannot so what different result to come, they have to be willing and ready to change. And majority when you discuss with them about this aspect of change, but they need to change, they will find many reasons to justify why they should not change. And they are realizing that reasons which they are using as an excuse, that is the only obstacle which is stopping them. So eventually, once they accept it, they will change. And or to be honest, 80% of the world, they're not ready to change. That's why they will come with the excuse, network marketing is this, network marketing is that. They will give all the justifications because they don't want to change. But the ones about we accepted the change, today we are the living proof of this industry. And I'm happy and proud to belong into this industry. You will only see the, the progress and the growth in financial, in a dreams aspect, and many other aspects once you embrace the change. You don't change, you die. But you change, you progress. So change is the only constant in our life. Now we, there is no way we can replace it. Look around. The city we are living is changing. Our country, they are changing. Technology is changing. And the system yeah, 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 we operate in even the, in the different organization it's changing. Now, even the phones we are using today, they have changed. We, we used to have those phones with the buttons, but today everyone is using smartphones. With the phone of the button, you can have it and keep wondering why you don't have access of uh, social media, don't have access of WhatsApp and etc. The problem is not WhatsApp or social media. The problem is the, the tool, how the instrument you are using. You change the instrument, also you get the access of all these things. So it's just simple, guys. And the world is changing and we need to invest those changes in, by investing in ourselves. So the biggest investment is just to focus on us changing the character, change how we think. Change the perspective of life because uh, the, the, our attitude yeah, about on how we think and how we do things will define what will be 
our ultimate goal in life. And basically, it's not the desires of you which will make you successful. It's actually the discipline will make a way for you, will make you successful. You are self-discipline. So goes back to, it's for example, if today you want like a, you, are, you have not seen your family for some time and you want to, to meet your family and you have a flight, eh? your flight is, is departing maybe at uh, 8 p.m. So basically you have to be at the airport, you have to report three hours before the time. So even if you have this desire, and you are you reach the airport like maybe um 805 of course you'll miss the flight and you'll miss the desire so it's not the desire of you will make you come back to to be able to achieve that goal or desire of you it's actually the discipline so i thank that upline of mine i thank the person who invited me to this industry i saw all these changes in him in a positive way and those changes inspired me. It's not the money. It's not the accounting. Akunoesha is account. Skuona is account. And he was honest with me when I asked him how much you have earned. And he told me, Elia, you know me and we are friends. We have been friends for all these years. And to be honest, you are the first person I've invited you. But I believe in the business and I know I'm going to make money in this business. And I want us to grow together and to make money. And he told me there is no point of us calling each other friends if we cannot add value when you, our dreams and uh, improvement of us growth of us and growing together and achieve results together and for me it was like wow he's very honest and until to date i am not even interested with how much he makes i know for sure he's successful but i'm not interested with how much he makes i'm more interested with by who he is in terms of character attitude and mindset he has now i'm keep seeing him progressing and progressing so that's all. That's the reason why I, I changed my negative perspective about this industry. Because I was lacking the information. I was misread. Now, now then when I, I, I got the presentation and when I saw these changes, I was inspired and I decided to stick into this industry. And this industry has changed my life completely. And it's changed my family life. has changed the life of my friends, my best friends, many people. And still we're here and still we are open and are ready to experience more changes in the journey. So that's all what I wanted to share with you today. Awful. It will help you. It will add some value to you. And let's keep embracing changes of ourselves. We focus on ourselves. Then the people around us will also change. We have bigger influence on people around us. But let's not focus on them. Let's focus on us. So that's it. Love you all. Till next time. See you.